In this chapter, we'll take a look at template only components. Components usually have view models and templates, as we saw earlier, but that's not always necessary. A component can specify just a template. And over here in this example, we'll be taking a look at that. So here you can see that we have the same user signup component that we developed earlier. Here we are passing the parameters, first name, last name, email. And here we have defined the template, as you can see, inside the template ID. And then we have our template view model. And here we have our view model. And then we have our component defined as user signup. And here you can notice that we are just passing the signup template as template. There is no view model passed in this component. And in our page, we have the apply bindings on the view model itself. So here, when we run this, this is a template only component. And everything that's passed inside this parameter is coming from the view model. So let's run this and see it in action. If I change the last name over here, let's say, and you can see that it's changing properly. So that way you can also develop a template only component in Knockout.js. We can also control the way our templates load. By default, the loading is asynchronous and if we need to make them synchronous, we can do that by specifying synchronous as true. So we'll say synchronous colon true. So if our component configuration has a boolean synchronous property, Knockout uses this to determine whether the component is allowed to be loaded and injected synchronously. By default, this value is set to false. So let's see why the component loading normally is forced to be asynchronous. Knockout ensures that component loading and hence component injection always completes asynchronously because sometimes it has no choice but to be asynchronous. Because it involves a request to the server, it does not. It does this even if a particular component instance could be injected synchronously because the component definition was already loaded. This always asynchronous policy is a matter of consistency and is a well established convention inherited from other modern asynchronous JavaScript technologies such as AMD, which we just now explored. The convention is a safe default. It mitigates potential bugs where a developer might not account for the possibility of a typically asynchronous process, sometimes completing synchronously or vice versa. Now let's see why would you ever set the synchronous property to true. Now let's say if you want to change the policy for a particular component, you can specify synchronous to true on that component's configuration. Then it might load asynchronously on first use followed by synchronously on all subsequent uses. If we do this, then we need to account for this changeable behavior in any code that waits for component to load. The benefit is primarily that if you're injecting a long list of copies of a certain component and if the component definition is already in memory due to previous usage, then all the new copies may be injected synchronously and cause only a single document object model reflow, which is preferable for performance, especially on mobile devices. So if you want to set it as synchronous, you can do this by making use of the keyword synchronous set to true.